Hey guys, um, this is my next lesson. This is lesson 10. Pretty crazy. It's been a while. You know, I, uh, I had a spur of the moment thing. I just kind of came up with this cool line. Uh, I wanted to share it. Uh, it you know, it's very beboppy. Charlie Parker probably played it at some point. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm just going to play it first. Um, so yeah, here we go. really quick one um the, so important thing first thing is uh this is over a one six two five progression which many of you probably know already so that's uh so th i'm in a flat major so this is going to be like a flat major to f7 flat nine then b flat nine then e flat seven Maybe that. I was doing a little bit of an altered thing there, but right. So A flat major, F seven, E flat minor, E flat seven. Basically, just an A flat major two five with that F seven added to lead in to the B flat minor. It's cool. I mean, it's used thousands of times. I'm not exaggerating, but uh, well, maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> so. With that noted, um, I'm just gonna kind of break it down bit by bit. I'll have some sheet music up there just to help out. But so we have, uh, so I'm just gonna do it little bit by bit. So that's our first one, two, three, four. Uh. Right, so that's just uh, an A flat major pattern, just kind of a triplet thing. And I hit this A natural, you might think, why a natural or an A flat? Because that's where we switch to the F dominant chord. So it really emphasizes that. Also, it just sounds good, right? So like a five, five, three, two, one. Very simple scale pattern. Cool. Okay. Now we're gonna add on the next little bit, which is really cool, in my opinion. One, two, three, four. So here, we're still in F dominant, right? That flat nine. I almost think of the, this, this part. Remember how I said the F7 leads to B flat minor, right? Just think of, like, you're in B flat harmonic minor here. Just, right? So that's essentially what's going on um, when we hit this F7. Um, so A uh, G flat are all notes from a flat harmonic minor same with that c then we do have we have this isn't technically right that d natural but it but it's a passing tone it, it sounds good right you have that you can think of it like you're enclosing the d flat which is going to be the third of b flat minor right so it all makes sense I think is cool about it and when I when later I play it with like in context with the backing track you'll see um, the timing is just it's not like you're hitting like everything just falls one one it's like this kind of like shifts it around a little bit it sounds interesting I think it's cool so um, here I'll play up to that point again one two three four okay now the next part I'll just start right there so that's where what chord are we on B flat minor, right? Duh. So right, we, we are on our D flat, and all we do here is just an arpeggio. So just in a triplet, right? So one, two, three. So if I technically started on one of that, this is what I was saying about that timing thing, on one of the B flat minor chord. One, two, three, four. Right, that's cool. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, so we have next part. That that's it. Our last part. So let me put that together. This is, I think, like Dexter Gordon does that a lot. 
I don't know. I wasn't trying to like specifically fit anything. I just, I thought it sounded cool. It sounded good, right? You can do that. Um, I won't go too much in this, but you can do that with like, just pick any like chord tone and like just kind of go down to another one. So if you're in like A flat, just, or you're gonna maybe even, sounds a little stranger because of the intervals, but side, side note, that, that's kind of where I got that. So let's do the whole thing. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So here, how about now I play this with a backing track, maybe just like a few choruses, pretty slow. I'll put it in, <laughs> I'll put it in at like the end part. So, uh, because that's where in the tune that's where it goes um you could probably fit it in other places but yeah I'll, I'll make a note of it on the screen too so here we go So yeah, um, excuse my kind of bad playing there at the beginning. I'm not sure what, <laughs> I, you know, it, I, I think it went well. I, I hope that was a helpful kind of seeing that in context, the last two bars of that blues. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful as always. And uh, be on the lookout for lesson 11 uh, whenever. I guess we'll see. So thanks. <laughs>